Hi, it's Jonathan Pickup. In today's movie, we're going to look at simple dimensioning. Now, I know it might seem like we're going back to basics, but sometimes we need to go back to basics. A lot of this came up in a recent webinar, so I'd like to just give you a quick introduction to dimensioning. Now, if you like this movie, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps other people to find the movie. So let's have a look at dimensions. This is a dimension here. I'm going to look at my dimension tool. Here it is here. And we've got different ways of dimensioning. This is the standard dimension, chain dimension. So I'll show you the difference between those. This is a standard dimension. You click at each point, then you click where you want the dimension. The chain dimensioning is slightly different. You click at the first point, you click at the second point, then you place the dimension and every other dimension is now related to that or in line with that. So it doesn't matter where you click, they're all in the same line and they're all joined together. If you don't like some of those dimensions, you can right click on one and delete a dimension. So that's quite handy. You can get rid of that one. You can get rid of this one. Now I'm going to get rid of all of them because I just added far too many. So I'm just going to delete all of those and back to here. If you delete the wrong one, let's just delete this one. You can add it back by going right click and add dimensions. Double click to finish though. Otherwise you'll carry on adding dimensions. Now you might notice that when I dimension, I always click on the corners of my objects. This is important because it makes these objects associated to the dimension. These little green squares you can see in the corners. If I stretch this object, let's just stretch its length. You notice the dimensions all updated. Move this point here and the dimensions all update. And this will really save you a lot of time and trouble when you're dimensioning projects. Now the other thing I wanted to look at really quickly is dimension standards. When you create this dimension, it's normally on the arch. You can change it to BSI or you can choose DIN or ISO or one of these other ones. I don't like any of those. So I like creating my own custom dimension standard. Let's have a look at custom. Now you can't import from the resource manager from one project to another, but you can import dimension standards by using the import button. I'm going to import these two because I really like these two. Okay, so okay to that. I now have the ability to have plans or site plans. And you'll notice that my site plans uses meters rather than millimeters, whereas my other one uses meters. This little dotted line here, this is my witness line. So I can change the witness line length. This one is going to become plans. So I want that one to be in millimeters. And if you want to line up these witness lines, you can just drag that dotted line down, touch the bottom of another witness line, and that'll create your dimension lines lining up. So I find that really quick and easy to deal with. So click there, click there. Where do we want this dimension to be? Hit this point and double click to finish. Now I'm going to go up here. I'm going to change to my plans dimension. So let's click there, there. I want my dimension to be there and double click there to finish. So you notice that this one, these dimensions are using my new style, but these ones are not. And you can always change them over here by just choosing plans. Now, when we look at our plans style or our dimension standard, you'll notice that I'm not connected to my font that I want to use. So let's edit that. And here we're going to choose a call out. It would be nice if I used a dimension style that I really like. I've got one here, Arial Narrow. I'm just going to import that. Now I'm going to connect that text style to my dimension standard. So let's edit my custom standards, edit my site plan and assign Arial Narrow to that. And we'll do the same with our site plans, edit it and aerial narrow okay okay and now i've got aerial narrow on all my dimensions and they're all consistent and if i update this font now let's find it on my current file just untitled one textiles let's edit that and let's change that to bold and you notice that all my text has changed to bold. This is a great way of making sure that you're consistent with your text, consistent with your dimensions, got the right font, got the right embolding. It makes your drawings look a lot more consistent. And if you set that up from the beginning, 
you'll find it a lot easier and quicker so thanks for watching